All right, today we're going to look at the, one of the most ancient and most efficient methods of irrigation called OIA or buried clay pot irrigation. I first found out about it in a book written more than 2,000 years ago by Fan Shen Shi, who'd been hired by the emperor to help people with too little land and too little water. So today we're just going to go through the very simple steps. It's probably the simplest irrigation system to install, and yet it's the most efficient. So here we go. So we really need only three things. The Oya, or watering pot. And this is made by GrowOya.com. A planter, and you can see we put a little screen across the bottom so the plant mix doesn't fall out. And with that, all we need is planting mix and our plants and we're set. One of the important things is getting a good planting mix. I've been happy with the Gardener Supply plant mix. Sometimes the ones you might find at a home supply store have too much salt in them or other products and you just find your plants don't prosper. So if your plants don't do well, try a different planting mix next time. So I'd like the neck to be a little bit above the rim of the pot, but not too much. And after we fill the pot full of water, this whole surface will be wetted and it will provide water for the plants that we're going to put in around the pot. We'll go ahead and water the planting mix just to see how much it's going to settle. And if you look, you can see how quickly the water wets the terracotta. And that's how the water flows out through the terracotta through capillary action through the clay. And what we're making today is an herb pot for the kitchen garden. And after you take the plants out of the container, it's good to break up the roots a little bit. They may be a little pot bound from being in their pot too long. And we'll see that's just a little bit too low. We need a little, add a little more planting mix. And that's just about right. It's a little bit below the rim, but not much. So we'll start off with some mint. And next to the mint, which will spread pretty fast, I'll put in some parsley. And parsley has done really well in these containers. And here you can see a Onions have been in here a little too long, and how the roots are all tangled up. But they're pretty hardy, so they should do fine anyway. And then we'll put in another different type of parsley. And with this system, you typically can save about 90% of the water you could from just surface irrigation. A little Greek oregano will finish us up. Now we leave one space, just so it's easy to get in and fill the oya. So we just pop this off and we'll go ahead and fill it now.
So now we have to do is just fill in the soil mix to the height of the pots and plants. You want to make sure you get it in on the outside of these little plants so they don't dry out. Ask, what's, what do you think the drainage is of the, the pot? So if you fill it up with water now... Oh, uh, about a week, I think. But to start off with, you could check a little more off. Right. And you might want to sprinkle it a bit. Now the final step is just to water it in well. And the first week you might sprinkle it once or twice, but after that it should be fine. Just filling the oil with water, perhaps every four to five days, maybe only once a week. You can do this with a plastic pot, but the ceramic pots breathe better, and plants tend, we tend to do a little better if they get more aeration for their roots. So now it's done. Great. 15 minutes, and you're ready for your kitchen <laughs> garden.